three, two, one. Issues in public education. Funding and standardized testing. School funding is going towards discipline rather than language arts, mathematics, and electives. If more money is being spent towards the negative aspect, then these students aren't going in the right direction. Even though it appears to be spending more money per child, the child isn't receiving positive outcomes, which is a problem in poor districts. Public Education issued an act called No Child Left Behind, which is a reauthorization of elementary and secondary education, which includes Title I schools. This government flagship AIDS program is for disadvantaged students. These standard-based education reforms are based on the premise that setting high standards and establishing measurable goals can improve individual outcomes in education. This act implements annual yearly progress, which is an annual academic performance targeting reading and math that the state, school districts, and schools must reach to be considered on track for 100% proficiency by the next school year. Unfortunately, there is a double standard. Schools can be passing state standards, but not the national standards. Schools can also be doing average work and still not make annual yearly progress. Schools then must look at a balancing act. When they look at this, they are looking at, are we going to get the federal money? Are we going to pass federal standards? Then, in order to receive federal money, schools have to implement school improvement programs just such as character development, leadership development, and career development. Students who live in poor districts aren't able to fund these programs. Another issue, if the students do really well with these programs issued, the funding gets cut off. Therefore, you can't continue the programs that were implemented to help these students. Standardized testing. More tests than ever before. Teachers are being fired and programs are being cut to aid test prep. Family income plays a factor in students' SAT scores. Standardized testing isn't an accurate representation of the student's knowledge. It's time to make a difference in our public education system by equalizing funding and doing away with standardized testing. That's all, folks.